Legend of War here, and today we've got a rating your one-man doomstack, this time covering Festus the Leech Lord. Now with this one here, we're covering all four of the Champions of Chaos as one-man doomstacks. Festus is the last one to be, uh, to be covered. So the other three were all really good in different ways. I'd probably say Village was the best so far. So here are the, uh, the strengths and weaknesses to uh, Festus. One, he's able to be a mortar engine effect, so infantry in general will just fall to the wayside. The downside to him is that he's stupidly slow, and that he's small. Now, as a that has strengths and weaknesses. Uh, the biggest weakness of it is that he's going to have a hard time dealing with single entities, because the Mortis Engine effect doesn't really do that much damage to single entities, and if he's constantly getting disrupted, because there's lots of single entities here, um, he's not going to be able to dish out that much damage. Um, but you could always just try to army loss them, I suppose. But anyway, we'll just have to see how it goes. So, looking at his equipment, he does have the Sword of Cain. I'd say that for Festus, it's pretty much needed, especially in the situation here. He's really chosen probably the most difficult enemy for Festus to go up against, and I'll explain that in a bit. But yeah, we've got the Sword of Cain dominating. You need that 30% ward save to deal with all the magical attack that's going to happen here. Same thing with Unbreakable. Uh, in terms of, like, mass amounts of damage, he doesn't really need it. It's really just about that extra ward save. Then we've got the Armor of Destiny here, which we absolutely needed. The Talisman of Preservation, yes. The Rod of Torment, which is fine, but I don't think there was anything else that you really could have chosen better. They just don't have any great uh, arcane items for one-man doomstacks. And then you've got, for his enchanted item, the Pestilent Potions, which is fine. Gives him extra physical resistance and melee defense, that's good. But uh, it's not... Let's just have a look at some other stuff. If we have a look at his abilities here, in terms of resistances, he's at 56% ward save. So that means without the Sword of Cain, he'd be at 26% ward save, which would mean that the magical attacks would do significant more damage. He's pretty much at the physical resistance cap um, without the Sword of Cain, but the problem here is the magical attacks. Uh, missile resistance doesn't really matter for Festus because he's a small unit. On very hard battle difficulty, there's very few units that will even bother trying to shoot at him. He's got some fire resistance here to help mitigate the damage done via um, flaming attacks, because he's um, regenerating. He's got um, regeneration in here. Yeah, so that's going to give him 20% fire weakness. So that means if you've got flaming attacks against him, he's going to be 5% resistant to the attack, but it will slow down his heal a bit. Um... And then loads of other stuff. We'll have a look at his traits afterwards, but I already looked at it to see if it was uh, possibly trait managed, and I seriously doubt uh, that it was trait managed because there was actually some key ones missing. But anyway, let's just jump in here and uh, see how he goes against four armies of vampire counts. Now, the thing that I, I said before about it being possibly the most difficult enemy possible to go up against is actually due to one of the weakest units in the game, the Corpse Cart Balefire. Because in Warhammer 3, what this effect does, it provides area of effect, flaming attacks, and magical attacks. So everything is going to do magic damage to him if a corpse cart goes near him, which there's two in the first army, none in the second, another one there. So there's five of these corpse carts here. Now, for the other Warriors of Chaos Lords, they could have just sniped these things really easily, especially... Azazel and Valkyr, but Festus is going to have a really hard time sniping these ones here because he's just going to get pushed around constantly. But anyway, let's jump in here and see how we go. Quite a long intro for this one, but there was a lot of information here to digest right at the start. Now, with 56% ward save, that should give us quite a bit of resistance to those magical attacks, but the difference between a magical attack being done on him and a physical attack being done um, is nearly five times the amount of damage. Because physical attacks are being reduced by 90%, but the um, magical attacks are only being reduced by 50%. So for example, if someone had 100 physical damage and 100 magical damage, like two different entities, the one with physical would only be doing 10 damage per hit. But the one with magic would be doing 50, so it's like five times as much. So like I've said before, when you start to get into the really high levels of ward save, that's when it becomes really effective. Okay, so we're not a flying character, so we just need to wait for them to come at us. Uh, we're the attacker in this scenario here as well. 
Yeah, if they send the corpse carts at us in the early parts of the battle, I think we're going to really struggle. See, if I was playing as Azazel or um, Valkyr, I'd just go and snipe those units immediately. And Village probably could have cast some spells on them to get rid of it. But Lore of Nurgle is not great for single entity killing. You do have uh, Rancid Visitations, but that is really not cost effective. So we got 9,000 health here. And I think we're just waiting for their reinforcements to show up. And then they'll come at us. Maybe. 45 speed, which is enough to outrun a corpse cart, but if we're getting constantly bullied by other units, that's going to be a problem. Right, if I do one of... No, no, it's just um, Just go into melee with it. The thing is with these Grave Guard, while they do have magical attacks, their melee attack is so low that they're very rarely even going to land a hit. Now, if we have a look at Festus in melee, yeah, he is not able to do a good job there. It really comes... Oh, really? I should have done. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that Mortis Engine effect. Hmm. Well, he's taking that one down alright, but he is taking some damage. Not much more I can really do here. I just want to use up that right now. Was kind of hoping they'd send all their forces at us so we can get a nice big blob going. So in total, that one did... That's actually a lot of damage. Hmm, and that's just one shitty graveyard unit. That is a ton of damage. That is a big concern, though. I know Festus has got a very high heal cap, but still. Alright, I kind of want to take out all the single entities first and then deal with the infantry last, but let's just see if I can get these guys away. Maybe go and fight into the forest a little bit, that way they'll have lower melee attack. Although his melee defense is really high, I don't think it really matters that much. Perform. But whatever we do, try to avoid the corpse cart balefire carts because um, they'll wreck us. Mm. Even with the sword of Kane, he doesn't really hit that hard. But yeah, dueling of Argulf here. Fine. So let's try to keep an eye on the corpse carts. Alright, Unholy Lodestone, not that big of a deal, but the Balefire carts. Yeah, anything that's giving magical damage to the single entity. So most of them, and pretty much all of them, don't have... They're just physical damage. Yeah, this guy here, physical damage. It's not a big deal to deal with that. Now here's another thing, when you're using really small entities like this, sometimes giving them attack orders can be detrimental because they can be so disrupted uh, that they're constantly trying to attack the unit, but if they're not actually close to it, they'll just keep trying to walk towards it. I think we're okay at the moment. Yeah, he's, he's getting hits in there. Another thing when dealing with the vampire counts, you really want to kill them quickly so that they don't regenerate. Corpse carts seem to be on their way over here at the moment. That's good. Keep them away from us. Not too concerned about the Grave Guide. If they all just clump in on us, we'll just mortis engine them away. But what I want to do is try to get rid of the single entities, just in case they get bogged down, and then a Corpse Cart Balefire um, comes over here. Because if that happens, these guys are suddenly going to dish out five times as much damage.
and also slow down our regen, which shouldn't matter that much. Also got plenty of magic here that we can use, but I'm just going to hold off on that for now. If a big blob forms up, maybe use Fleshy Abundance. I don't... Sorry, not Fleshy Abundance. Uh, Black Oil. Use the Fleshy Abundance if we get close to death, which is a possibility here. Come on, let's try to get rid of that bug if it's close to death. Don't let it regen. point here, I'd say he's probably lost about 2,500 um, health in total. Because, yeah, that first Grave Guard did like 1,700 damage. I probably shouldn't have gone up against that. I just thought because of their extremely low melee attack, like, they had no chance of hitting him. But if you have enough entities attacking, even at 8% chance, you will eventually hit. Plus, any unit that's hitting him in the back um, has, like, a guaranteed chance of hitting him. So, I guess, because we got surrounded, that really hurt him, though. Pop this down on the single entities, but it's not that great against them. But that being said, the Mortis Engine effect is totally destroying the infantry. The more of them that come over here, the, the better. We do not want to go near those corpse cars. They're currently not aggroed on us. That's great. <laughs> we don't want to go over there. Try to get around the other way. Push us this way. Doesn't matter if we're not actually dishing out melee attacks, because we're dishing out damage because of uh, the Harbinger of Pestilence. Let's just make sure that we don't go near them. Just tell it not to attack anything and just see what he'll attack automatically. Even the Mortis engines that they've got are less of a concern to us than the Balefire cards. Weird, because in Warhammer 2, those were possibly the worst unit in the Vampire Count roster. But in this particular situation here, that is our Achilles heel. We mustn't go anywhere near that. That'll wreck us. Because yeah, everything in here that's dishing out any serious damage to us is physical damage. It's just not hurting us. Yeah, see, they're not doing as much damage when they're in a blob like this. Yeah, and the uh, the Mortis Engine effect is just wrecking it. They are slowly pushing us towards those corpse carts though, and I don't like that. And because we're small, we just don't have any serious mass. We can't just push through them. But if we keep trying, we can at very least maybe get around them a little bit so they push us around the other way, which is starting to happen now. That's good. about done 100,000 damage. I guess we can pop down a Blight Boy, we'll see how much damage that'll do. So we want to overcast it to sort of double the amount of damage. Pop it in about there. And we'll see how much damage it does. That's nice, about 20,000 damage. That's more than what we were getting out of each sort of cane, but, you know, this one doesn't cost us wins of magic. Now, these guys here are being affected by the Harbinger of Pestilence, but it's, um, it's not that much, the single entities. So, okay if the Unholy Lodestone comes over here, although it will give them extra combat stat and regen. Uh, you've jinxed it. it Seem to have been moving over here. Gotta get away from it. Good, we're back at full health. Good, good. So, so far, we've killed just under a thousand of them. No, 700. Speed up a little bit. I'd go in and get a cinematic shot, but I'm deathly afraid of those damn corpse cart, balefire cart. And if I go into cinematic mode, I might not pay attention to what's going on over there. Get rid of a bunch of shit here. I need to clear the area so I can try to push through. Just get some distance away from them. 
Doesn't matter if the odd hit comes in, not a big deal, but if they start doing magical damage to us, it's probably game over. We've also got these summons over here, which actually might be okay to use on the corpse carts. Hmm. Problem is, it could backfire on us. I could pop it down here, they'll just immediately kill it, and then they start moving towards us. No, don't. if you start moving over here, we'll do it. No, they're just inching over here a little bit by a little bit. Okay, all of a sudden we got like absolutely tons of kills because I think all the infantry, they don't all die until the very last moment from the mortar engine effect. Because it dishes out damage fairly evenly amongst the unit. Come on, keep pushing this way. Seems to make a difference whenever I tell them to go this way. But yeah, I gotta stay away from this. At least until we get rid of all the single entities. Once we got rid of all of them, then it should be fine. Because all the Graveguard have got magical attacks anyway. I might save those just in case they do come over here, because that'll reduce the amount of damage they dish out. Whereas right now, they're not really doing anything. They're basically just tickling them. Ascension come again, that's fine. What's this? That's another... Corpse Cart Balefire there. So that's three that's on the battlefield out of five. One more to go there. And there. This guy here is almost dead, you can do it. That's it, just keep him away from here. So that Terrorgeist is not doing much damage, this guy here is... Eh, not doing much. Yeah, individually, each of these single entities aren't really doing very hard. Up a bit more. They seem to be pushing us in the way that we want to go, which is away from them. Not too concerned about the Mortis Engine. It'll probably do some damage to us, but at least it's not imbuing everyone with uh, magical damage. And since we're a single entity, we're not heavily affected by the Mortis Engine effect. But let me just check how much damage has it done already, because it's only been there a few seconds. Yeah, it is doing some damage. You could use Rancid Visitations, but it's really not a cost effective spell. Like, I guess I could do it just to prove the point. But at the end of the day, if we don't actually kill it, it's not going to make much of a difference. And, yeah, it's got 7,000 health. It'll probably only do about 500 damage. It's just not worth it. Though, killed nearly 2,000, and they're they've still got a lot of forces to come in. No, it's just not worth it. It's something that I know is not going to work. Yeah, it's racking up the kills faster than the Lords. We just got magical attack and it's anti-infantry, plus the Mortis Engine effect. And we just can't hit it. Although the thing is here, if we could just not be in melee with it, we can dish out damage to it without it dishing out damage to us. But I can't get out of this bloody blob. Well, that's a bit of a stain, but at least that gives us a bit of a benchmark to where we were. That's where I was trying to get away from these. So if we step... No, oh, that one. And they're both there. So that's four of them there. And trying to rancid visitation them would be a mistake. Yeah. That one's starting to come in fairly close. Let's stay away. Because, yeah, once that comes over here, we're going to take five times as much damage from those single entities. Ooh, he's racking up them kills. Nicely, but yeah, stay away from that fucking corpse cart.
Because yeah, if that one does come over here, I'll, I will definitely use Rancid Visitations on it. Like, spam it as quickly as possible, try to get rid of it. I think we're okay at the moment. Doesn't really need to pop this down, but since their melee attack's not that high anyway. Plus, we'll probably just bounce on shit units. Save that for if we're getting hit by the Balefire Cart. Alright, so at the moment, 2,000 kills, and a lot of single entities are attacking this now, but I think the problem here is it's constantly getting disrupted, and so we're just not... Getting that 1,100 weapon strength in, it's all just the mortar engine effect. And because single entities fight at near full strength, even if they're down to one health, that's a big problem if we're not able to actually get rid of them. Plus, they're the ones. Constantly pushing us around, disabling us from being able to leave. I just gotta suck this up, there's nothing else I can do about this. As long as none of the corpse carts are coming over here, we're okay. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We've maintained full health pretty much the entire battle. I reckon it's taken about 4,000 damage so far. And they are pushing us away slowly, so this is good. Let's let that fight on for a bit. I wish I'd send in all of their melee infantry but just leave behind the corpse carts. That's it. Uh, this is what you really don't want to have happen, where the Vargulfs will, you know, take damage, but manage to get all of their regen happening throughout the battle. It just means you have to fight it for a lot longer than you otherwise should have. But, you know, Festus is not supposed to be a good melee lord. Yeah, 2,400 kills. How many more single entities are still to come in? Quite a few. Because, yeah, really good one-man Doomstacks can take out single entities with ease, and he's not doing that. They're moving, but the corpse carts are still trying to stay away. So this is succeeding largely on the AI stupidity here. If they wanted to win, all they're going to do is send a Balefire card over here. It takes so much extra damage. And they're starting to move in. Alright, so far, we've killed two and a half thousand of them. Yeah, they're starting to come over here. I've got to get away from it. We've been lucky up until now, but this is where shit hits the fan. We're not quite in range yet. Just keep trying to move away from them. It just move us away from the corpse cars. Luckily, they're so slow. Like, he's twice as fast as them, but I keep getting disrupted. Oh god, they're closing in on us. I definitely don't have enough magic to be using rancid visitations on all of them. If just one of them came over here, it'd be fine. But bloody all of them are coming. Problem is, if I move over in this direction, another one's going to be coming in there eventually. Unholy Lodestone is fine. Balefire Cart, very bad. Get out of there. I did say I would do this if they started getting close. I'm going to need to, I think. And I'm pretty sure this is going to do absolutely nothing. 
But it might bust a few seconds to try to get out of it. Yeah, it's gonna do nothing. Right, let's get out of it. Just kept all their corpse carts busy. Even if we're moving just centimeter by centimeter, just keep moving. That's a nice blob going on over there. Got no problem with them sending their entire. Oh, good, good. Look at this. We actually got away. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> Just keep moving. Get away from those fucking corpse carts. Yeah, this is where I think the banner of swiftness was really helpful. There, yeah, we're getting some good distance away from them now. That's it. We don't need to be in melee for this to be active. I definitely want to fight their entire army. Everything except for the Balefire carts. good distance away from them now. This should be fine to stay there. That was quite lucky that we managed to pull away from it. So They'll just inch over here a little bit at a time. Let the rest of their army come over. That's fine. It's going to take us a little while to get rid of all these bloody single entities. So looking at that Mortis engine there. Yeah, look at that. 2,300 damage and it's full health. I couldn't do anything about it though. Probably this. Which, I'll show you how much this does. I feel okay about doing this because we had a pretty good runaway there, although they are still coming in. Alright, so it, it did about a thousand damage, so it cost 12 wins of magic. Okay, I need to put this down again. And we're gonna get moving. Again. Good. It seems like when we pop this down, it distracts them just long enough for us to get away. Alright, I'm too close to the edge of the map here, I need to move around. Yeah, way too close to this, but it's still going to be a little while before that one comes in. Let's move. Come on, keep moving. you got to keep giving the attack or uh, the move order, or else he'll... As soon as he touches something, he'll turn around and attack it. Get away from those corpse carts. And luckily, in this case here, in Total War Warhammer, 1, 2, or 3, units are so bad at running down small single entities. They're just terrible at it. Because they can't lock on properly because they don't have match combat, for the most part. Go here, taking damage even though he's not in melee. Good. That's it. We're a really good distance away from them now. That's what we want to see. Keep moving. Don't worry about doing stand or die now. Since we're getting attacked in the rear, extra melee defense isn't going to matter at all. Okay, this should be fine for now. But I don't have any more distractions. So if I did six or seven more rancid visitations on that, I could probably kill that. But is that really worth using up pretty much all my winds of magic just to kill a mortis engine? Let's see how much damage this does. Eh, it's better than nothing. Okay, we're getting too close to the mortis, uh, to the um, corpse cuts again. We're gonna get moving. Which can we get away? Got to keep giving the order. Mortis engines back doesn't really bother me too much. Another mortis engine doesn't bother me too much. These ones here, they're the ones that bother me. 
Come on, come on, Festus. You can do it. There we go. We're slipping away again. Move, 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 move. That's it. Just keep pushing me in this direction. They can't do any serious damage to us while those corpse carts are not near us. Just keep moving. That's it. So even the Vargul there is just humping our back, not actually dishing out any damage. Alright, the last of the reinforcements are starting to come in now. Yeah, we're not yet at the stage that we could army loss them, especially considering most of the kills that we've gotten are just uh, Graveguard. That's not a big deal. We need to be killing single entities, and he's just not that good at it. Uh, this isn't going to do much against single entities. It's just... just well. I have no idea how much regen we've used up at this point. Absolutely no clue. Alright, Mortis Engine, fine. Corpse Cart, bad. So I'll just, just wait and see how we go here. At least this one here is nearly dead. That's largely responsible for pushing us around. And if we have a look, it did. this one here did do a fair bit of damage to our um, Plague Bearer. So looking at the amount of damage it's done now is a bit, a bit weird. We don't know how much damage it's done to Festus. Now, if we keep an eye on this, we can see when his, like, damage jumps up by about a thousand that he's actually landing melee attacks. Yeah, he just did one there. Yeah, he's still, he's still getting melee attacks in. It's still happening. Every now and again. They're getting close again. I gotta try to get away. And it didn't go the right way. Still did a bit of damage. Right. I gotta slip away. Stay away from the Balefire carts. Right. We run. Run, Festus, run. Get the fuck out of there. about getting attacked by these guys they're just not dishing out that much damage okay yeah turn around and fight that now I really need to get rid of some of these damn lords they're hanging on by a thread and they're really disruptive oh my goodness big hit on it there we go that's what I want to see one more one more hit and this guy is probably not going to die but give him two more hits Corpse carts are closing in, but a bit of distance away. Every one of them that we can manage to kill will make it a lot easier to get away from the uh, the corpse carts here. So, new mortis engine. This one hasn't done much damage. This guy is so close to death that the mortis engine effect will probably get him. Oh, I just hit something, Festus. So the effect from this one here will lower their speed and melee defense, but that's not a problem. I need to lower their melee attack. Good. It's almost dead. All three of these lords here are almost dead. The other one, the flying one, he's not going to come down and fight us, basically. Yeah, he's just... Hovering above here, taking more descent and damage. Good, one dead. Although the Strugoi wasn't that big of a deal because he was small and you can't have uh, that much disruption power. That is getting way too close. We've got to get out of here again. Getting easier and easier to get away, which is nice. 
But we're still primarily just fighting single entities, which is definitely what he struggles at the most. It, I mean, if this was Azazel, he would have just taken them out straight away, especially because he was flying. Same thing with Valkyr. This just would not have been a problem. And they wouldn't have needed the Sword of Cain either. So I'm fairly sure, because he's got no kills there, that that damage is entirely done on Festus, which is a lot considering he's at maximum physical resistance, but at least he's just about to go down. And like I said, Festus just isn't good at dealing with this. Okay, that's two lords down, one more to go, because yeah, I don't have to worry about the other one. Okay, I think all three of the laws that we need to worry about are down now. Alright, I might start using uh, Rancid Visitations on weakened Terror Geists, just to bloody get rid of them. Since they're so destructive. If you have a look at how much damage they're doing, eh, it's a bit. But yeah, if one of these Balefire Carts get over here, they're gonna multiply their damage by five, and then we're really going to wish we had gotten rid of them. Big difference between having done 500 damage and 2,500 damage, especially considering how many terror guys there are. Keep moving. Is it too close? Again, no point doing this. This just isn't going to do anything for us. Alright, looking at the bounce of power, and the number of enemies we've killed, we've killed about half of the total entities that they had, and quite a few of the single entities, since three of their generals are down, we should be getting fairly close to army losses. Alright, we can go back into melee now, although that's not that far away. We definitely don't want to overcast that spell. I don't think that'd be a better choice. Okay, we're getting into a big blob here. It's going to make it harder to get away, but it will be better for um, Sword of Cain. Still no sign of the max heal cap. Because yeah, he's got a massively improved heal cap. I, I don't know exactly what it is. It's got to be like plus 100% or something. They have fixed the, the bug from it now, so it's not unlimited. But we're going up against a faction that would uh, equally benefit from heal cap increases. So if they hadn't fixed it, this battle would just go on for nearly forever. Stay away. If we have a look here. Yeah, look, they're starting to imbue the attackers here. The terror guy's not yet close enough. Go on, you've got to get out of it. Come on, you're almost out. Big, big push, big push, you're almost out. Yeah, stay away from those Bale Fire cards. They really gave them a serious buff with uh, that particular change. Because what it used to do in 1 and 2 was just reduce Winds of Magic recharge rate, which for the AI was just not that big of a deal since they were terrible with magic anyway. Right, I think it's affecting the infantry, but it's not affecting the single entities here. But still, I don't want to be here any longer. We're going to keep moving. Pushing us close to the corpse cart, we don't want that. We've managed to avoid it so far. See, look at this, they're close enough that this guy here is getting the effect. Could use a black bow to try to get out of here. Now, the things closest to him 
but not yet affected by it. I think we're really close to army losses as well. But we're also in serious danger. If they just push us a little bit more over here, we're going to take so much more damage. Because right now, we just heal the damage they're dishing out. If we're taking five times as much damage, plus also getting hit by fire, we're going to heal half as quickly, take five times as much damage. We're not going to be able to out-heal it, and I'll have to use Fleshy Abundance. Which I don't want to have to do. That looks like a good sort of cane there. Alright, I'm going to overcast a Blight Boil, because I just need these infantry to get out of my way, because I've got to move them. Just can't push past them. Miscast it, but didn't do anything. Can't move. Out of my way. Out of my way. Nice, like 400 kills there. I'm going to keep moving. It wasn't enough. Alright, they're still not being affected by the Mortis Engine effect. Uh, sorry, the Bale Fire effect. Alright, how many do we have to kill left? There's still 2,000 remaining. Well, all the infantry's here, so they should be dropping like flies. All they have to do is move these just a little bit closer. If we have a look, yeah, the Terror Geist is still not affected by magic attack. We'll know as soon as we start taking serious damage. It will. Oh, they're moving a bit closer. No, stay away. No, not affected yet, but they're getting... Yeah, look, see, they just affected us. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Right, I gotta get out of here. Okay, I don't think they've landed any hits in yet. Okay, just get it out of here. Only 4,000 kills, come on. Yeah, okay, we're at our heal cap. Okay, this is a problem because it's going to make it more difficult for our um, for us to get the army losses as we're taking damage now. I've got to get out of here. We can now no longer do fleshy abundance. There's just no point in it. Same thing with this. Absolutely no point. Yeah, the things are here now. I need to inflict the army losses right away. But I just I cannot move. I've been completely bogged down. And now they're here. This is where we're going to start dishing out. Uh, sorry, taking damage. But we should be really close to the army losses. And this is where I'm actually glad we got the Sword of Cain. Because without it, we'd die so quickly now. Everything in here has got magical attacks. Only 700 remain, but we haven't inflicted the army losses because it's mostly single entities. No point doing this, won't do anything. I've got one more Blight Boil that I could use, just to get rid of all the infantry. Because I've got to get away from those um, Balefire carts. Yeah, we're really getting hit quite hard now. Right up until the very end, I managed to avoid them. But up to this point here, got to move. Come on, give it, give me those army losses. I don't have any more magic. Oh, got to be close. They only have 400 remaining, and with every bit of damage that we take now, it gets harder to inflict the army losses. Yeah, maybe pop this down to slow down the damage they're dealing. gonna keep trying to get out. There's no point trying to fight all the stuff here in melee while the Balefire cart's out. I just gotta, I gotta get out. Yeah, he's slowly getting out of the center of it. Plus, sometimes while you're trying to walk like this, you actually end up taking a little bit less damage. Come on, move it, Festus. Because enti these entities just can't connect properly just due to the derpiness of this game. Come on, move, 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 move. I'm sure he can still duel 
the vast majority of the single entities, just as long as the Balefire can't disappear next to it. Right, move. <laughs> Boy, they just they can't get him out. Come on. He's taking damage. Every time the terror guys hits, it does like hundreds of damage now. It's hard to inflict the army losses. I did my best to try to stay away from it, but he's just not good at getting out of combat. And 200 of them remaining, but it's all single entities, high balance of power units. And the mortar engine effect just isn't doing... Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on, he's almost out. No, no, he's not. Come on, Festus, you can do this. Come on, I think we got out. Then we got out. There we go. Go, 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 go. Right. So just get away from those corpse carts. Alright. God damn, that was hard to get away. Come on, come on, don't get stuck. Good, we're leaving the corpse carts behind. Everything's gonna start doing physical damage again, except for the mortar engines, but that's okay. Fucking terror guys, go away. Alright, get some serious distance away from them. Good, massive distance away. Alright, we're gonna take 150 the amount of damage that we were taking, so we're okay here now. Fucking uh, these terror guys here. Here we go. With every one of them that we can get rid of, it'll make it a lot easier to get out next time. Look at this one here. It's been taking mortar engine damage the entire time. It's not dead yet. Yeah, you can see we're taking significantly less damage. Could pop this down, but. I wait for these guys to arrive. Right, is he actually landing hits? Because we can see that his mortis engine damage is not that high. He's not, not landing hits. Just, just gotta attack something, dude. Just anything. Just attack it. Okay, down to be a while before we get here. Get right, away, the corpse cuts coming in, and I saw an opening, so I'm gonna take it. Right, we only took about 500 damage in that little engagement. But yeah, if those mortis engines come over here. Also, I think it's better if we're fighting fewer entities at once, because we're just constantly getting disrupted otherwise. Right, move over to here. If I get if I put my back to the wall. That might be a bit easier for um, fighting, since we won't get surrounded so much. Come on. Now that we've lost half of our health, that's a big problem for inflicting army losses. Really big problem. Because the vampire counts is constantly regenerating. He's almost dead. How much damage has Mortis Engine done? 4,000. Yeah. I'm not sure if I can win this battle. I think it's just, just a little bit too much. Not really not sure if we're going to win. But being close to the edge here, if we get really close to death, I'll just withdraw. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to show you the traits. The funny thing here is that there is one trait that he's missing that probably would have guaranteed a victory here. But we'll show that in a minute, because I don't know how much longer this battle is going to last. I don't think I'm going to be able to get away again. Are we inflicting damage? Just waiting to see the thousands tick up. He's just not landing hits. This 
of terror guys here, so close to death. Yeah, he's just an absolutely terrible duelist. Absolutely terrible at it. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this one. Thing is, if we can get rid of all these single entities here, he can easily duel these corpse carts. But we can't target the corpse carts while all these other single entities are here, so you have to do this first. Either that, or if these guys can just leave me alone for a little bit. Alright, I'm going to have to make a run for it. They're too close, we can't run. Oh, I could run this way, maybe. Alright, we gotta, we gotta leg it. Uh, I've also got Stream of Corruption. Oh, that stuff's really going to make a difference at this point here. It's just... There's just a handful of enemies left. But they're all bloody high value ones. I don't know how I'm gonna get out. They're here now with the magical attacks. If I don't get out now, we're gonna start taking excessive damage. Yeah, Crypt Horrors, they can be a big problem for like body blocking you. I need somebody to like hit him in their ass and just push him forward. Oh, move, 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 move. It's just not gonna do anything. Let's use this. This won't do anything. Got to get away from these damn corpse carts. Yeah, look, at, look how much damage we're taking now that they're here. But this is the problem, you just can't get out. Right. No, I just can't get out of here. Uh, I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to withdraw now. They pushed him out to the edge. He couldn't win this battle. It was too much. But that being said, that doesn't mean he's a bad one-man doomstack. It's just, this was like one of the hardest armies he could have gone up. Oh, God, we got away. We got away. <laughs> oh, God, we're very low on health now. Even without the magic damage. Just phys- Yeah, he's he's fucked. I couldn't win this one. It was just way too hard. I had to withdraw him. There we go. I just couldn't win that damn fight with this. Still, 5,100 kills. Um, he's a good one-man doomstack. It just went up against way too much here. And if he had gone up against pretty much any other faction, he would have been fine. But the guy chose the most difficult enemy for him to go up against. So many single entities that he can't handle. And pretty much the entire army had access to, to magical damage. But Fe Festus couldn't handle this. Now, the funny thing here is that I'm pretty much certain that Valkyr and Azazel could have handled this no problem without the Sword of Cain. Um, Village, I'm not sure about. I'm not sure. <laughs> Look how much experience he gained despite losing. So, let's have a look at the traits, right? So I'm pretty certain he didn't uh, trait manage because he's missing a key trait here. He got the physical resistance ones, which we didn't actually need. So he's got Wade Through Gore there. He's got the uh, Wanderer No More, so Bit Nakai. Uh, he got Pride Assassin, Doom Slayer, and where is it? Great Green Killer. But if you notice something that might have actually might have helped us win the battle, he didn't defeat Throth the Unclean. Because if we have a look here, he's actually allied to him in this campaign. And so he never always oh, Vassa, so he never really bothered to get Throt's defeat trait, even though he could just go and betray them. Uh, that extra 10% health would have given us a lot of extra health regen, and might have kept us at full strength longer, because I'm fairly sure that we had hit the threshold for inflicting the army losses if we were at full strength. But the problem is, we hit that threshold after we had started taking damage. And so if he had done that, we might have been able to win that battle. I did the best I could to stay away from those corpse cards. But the problem is, Festus, by default, just can't get out of combat like that. He's just not good at it. So, in terms of uh, rating this, this is not practical whatsoever. Um, Festus should have an army. Um, because this, these effects that he has, the, the potions, they're good and everything, but he should have a single entity doomstack. Because if we had a bunch of low-level, uh, what's it called, um, uh, champions, uh, exalted heroes, we would have dealt with that no problem. Because all the single entities would have been killed really easily, and he could have just kept them healed. Um, if we had a whole bunch of giants, again, no problem, he could have just kept them healed, because we've got so much uh, battle regen cap. But 
on his own, his inability to actually hit... Oh, they took the Sword of Cain away. Uh, his inability to hit the, um, the single entities made it really difficult to get rid of um, all those damn terror guys. And then when these guys came in here and dished out magical damage, um, we, just, we just couldn't deal with it. And that was with the Sword of Cain as well. It is very strong. It just depends on what you're going up against. If we went up against High Elves, we would have been fine. Unless they were using something like a Phoenix Spam. So it really comes down to here that Festus has one extreme weakness, and that's single entities, which makes him not really a viable one-man Doomstack. Even with the Sword of Cain, he just can't really handle it. You know, we used Rancid Visitations. It just couldn't do enough damage. Um, you know, that's, infantry wasn't a problem, but it really just came down to the single entities. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you liked it, hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.